Hello and welcome to the second video in my Discord bot tutorial series. In this video we're going to go over uh, some more advanced command types uh, with Discord. In the first video we just got our environment set up uh, and we got authenticated and we did the most basic reply command. So uh, if you haven't gotten to that point make sure to go back to that first video because that's the expectation I have uh, otherwise you might not be able to follow along with this tutorial. So basically what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go over the message object, what it is, the various things you can do with it, and then uh, we'll make two different types of bots. We're going to make a reaction bot and a delete messages bot. And then we'll set ourselves up for the following video where we're going to do some stuff like word filters and even more advanced stuff like that. So uh, with that said, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the message object and all the stuff we can access based off that. So if you just type in message and then dot, we can see that we get a bunch of different uh, different properties as well as methods. So uh, two of them that we used in this first example are going to be content, which gives you basically the body of the message, the text, whatever you type in. If you go in here, the content would be all this right here. So that's what that gives you access to. And then another one is just basic reply, which uh, will send a response to whoever the author of that message was. It'll just re uh, reply automatically. Uh, so some other things that you might want to look at are author. So if you come in here, you get access to the author object. And based on that, you can then chain and get stuff like uh, you can get their avatar you can find out if they're a bot or not you can fetch their profile and basically a bunch of different stuff get their username stuff like that so if you wanted to reply to them or just use their username in your response you could grab it like that so that's one thing that I use quite a bit for bots you can also do message.member and this will give you access if you want the person who wrote the message uh, you could then add them to a role so they could make a request you could make a specific command where they type something in and you could then give them that role based on if they request it you can ban people uh, you can check if they have proper permissions all that type of stuff uh, moving on another role or another at uh, thing you have access to with the message is the channel so if you don't want to reply like in this case we replied directly to the person instead of doing that you can just do channel dot send and that will send a new message into here without this reply so that's something you can do you also have bulk delete which is what we're going to use when we make our message delete bot you can use bulk delete pass in a number and then you can delete that many messages however many you specify you can get all the members of the channels so if you want to print off a list and check against that you can get the message list for that channel and you can also find out which guild or what the name of the server is using that as well and then you also have stuff like message.react if you want to pass in an emoji you can do that so you would do something like this and then you'd paste in like a thumbs up or a smiley face or something like that into this reaction message so those are basically uh, some of the most used uh, properties off this message object but I also will put a link in the description to the main documentation so you can check out everything uh, and see if there's something I didn't mention that you might find interesting there but for now that we have a kind of a base idea in our head of what we can do with this we're going to delete this code right here and now we're gonna get started on our reaction bot now the first thing we want to do is we're gonna create a prefix so that it makes it easier for people to use our bots and we don't get kind of conflicting uh, commands coming in so what this is gonna do is we're gonna create const actually we're gonna put this above our code so we're going to do const prefix and you can set this to whatever you it whatever you want you're generally going to want to use something fairly uncommon so we're going to use uh, just the exclamation point and what this means is that any command people want to use uh, they're going to have to use a prefix so if they want to do 
uh, like prefix kick if you want to remove something from the server they can't just type in kick they have to make sure they have that exclamation point first so that our bot knows it's a command coming in so uh, and to help with that we're gonna do inside this we're gonna check we're gonna do if message dot content dot starts with isn't prefix what we can do is just return so basically what this little thing does is before we run any of our other code we're gonna check if this message coming in has our prefix and if it doesn't have it we're just gonna return and not even bother trying to run any of our code down below so this is just basically to filter out normal messages in our chat from uh, actual commands that people would want to send to our bot so then below that what we're going to want to do is then pull out any potential arguments to our for our commands and get rid of the prefix so we can just read the text normally so we're going to create another variable uh, we're going to call it const arguments and we're going to do message.content and then we're going to slice and we're going to do the prefix dot length and what this does is uh, by making it prefix dot length you could extend this to something like this or just the one and it'll still it'll slice off your prefix and then after that what we're going to do is do a trim which will clear any white space so if they had a for whatever reason they accidentally put a space we'll still get that command and then we're also going to split by spaces so this will allow us to get uh, what this will do is it allows us to get it'll break up the command based on multiple words so for our future bot what we're going to do is we're going to do clear and then provide a number like five so it'll clear five messages but what that last uh, what this last split does here is it allows us to do more than one so we could do clear five uh, but a different uh, argument you could do something like this and you could have multiple arguments and it'd make sure to grab all those so that's what that last uh, little split message here is for and I think the issue with this if we hover over and that's because arguments I think is a reserved word so if we just change this to args that'll get rid of that issue and we can save that and code sandbox will automatically format that so it's a little bit more readable so now what we can start working on now that we have our objects the other thing we're going to want to do is we're also going to want to grab that command itself so we're going to do const command and we're going to do args dot shift and we're going to do dot to lowercase and what this will do if we think about this this shift is it rips it takes off the first element in the array so the way to think about this is when we run this what that would do is if we did uh, clear what this is going to do the first the this right here is slicing off our exclamation point and this is pulling off the command so the, what that'll do is give us whatever we put here if we put clear if we put kick or we put whatever that'll pull that off for our command right there so uh, and then everything after what's left in the args after we slice this off is just gonna be our arguments themselves so that's what that last thing does and now that we have that set up basically we can run uh, a variety of different basically any command now following this uh, we can run based off that. So now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a console.log so you can kind of visualize uh, what's going on. So we'll print off our args so that on every request you can kind of see over here uh, what this is doing. It's probably the best way to do it other than me just describing it so you can actually see it. And we're going to get started on our reaction bot. So we're going to do if command equals ego which is going to be if we want an e automatic ego boost 
uh, we can just type in that command and the bot will give us a reaction and what we're gonna do is grab an emoji from a list once that refreshes and basically we're gonna do message dot react and all we have to do is paste in any emoji that we want and uh, so you can grab any of these I'll put this link if you want you can look it up and pick one you like and then uh, we just have to paste this in here so if we save that if we go over to our chat all we should have to do is do ego and then hit enter and we can see we immediately get that little smiley face there so our first command is working as we would expect now we can move on to uh, another more advanced command because this one really isn't much different than our original hello function so this one we're now going to create a command that allows us to clear a like a variable amount of of messages based on an argument so this is going to be a little bit more in depth because we need to add a little bit of logic so first thing we're going to do is we're going to set a number by default so if they just type in uh, if they just type in clear like that it'll by default only delete uh, that one message but we have to make that two because we want to delete their message that they typed out to make the command and then one message above that so it has to be technically we're deleting two messages because we have to delete the original message that they made the command with so then below that we're going to do if args zero so what this is checking is if they've provided an argument because if they just do clear like this there this won't exist which means we're just gonna leave it with the default number but if they provide like five like they want to delete five messages then what we're gonna do is uh, set num equal to args zero and I actually have to since this is comes in as a string we have to do parse integer so this will convert it from a string like this to an actual number that we can then multiply so we're going to do plus one because again the reason we have this plus one is because if they did if they did a command like clear f clear five we'd really only be deleting four because one of these five messages is going to be the original message they typed it out so we have to add plus one there so that we actually delete five messages plus their original message so then below this, uh, what we're going to do, we'll uh, then do message.channel.bulkdelete, and we're just going to pass in that number. And then below that, we're going to do message.channel.send, and we'll just give a notification with backticks that bot deleted um, args zero messages or po there, there we go messages for you so basically what this is going to do it'll delete the message and then it'll notify we deleted whatever number they passed in and actually this should probably be uh, this should be our number minus one really num minus one because if they just did clear that would cause an issue because this wouldn't exist and that would cause an error so if we'd stuck with args uh, zero we could have gotten an error in the event they just did clear so now we can save that and we'll go over here and make some tests so we'll do test test one test two and then we'll try clear three messages and we can see bot deleted three messages and those all disappeared so uh, this is an example it's a little bit more in depth but it can see how you can basically create your own logic within this function and then based on that you can take actions with your bot so uh, this is a pretty decent example of a more complicated one and from here uh, we'll do one more that's also a little bit more complicated so for this last bot, we're going to do, uh, we're going to call it K 
caps lock. And what we're gonna do for this is we're gonna rejoin our arguments together by passing in a message. And all we're gonna do is basically take that and turn it into an uppercase. So what we're gonna do is const combined args. Uh, whoops, doesn't need to be one word. Uh, so const combined args equals args dot join. So this is where we're basically reversing what we did up here where we split them out into an array. And what we're gonna do here is rejoin them back into a string. So uh, if you want to type a long message like this, like a normal message, by default it would get split up. Uh, so what we want to do if we're going to reuse this all as a single string, we need to bring it back together. So then below that, we're going to do message.channel.send, and we're going to do our backticks, and we're going to grab the username. So we're going to do message.author.username. We're going to say the user. Uh, is angry and has something to say and then we're gonna do we're gonna create a space what these back tick ends are is their new lines so we're gonna create a new line and then we're gonna pass in our combined arguments and we're gonna do two uppercase so we're gonna do caps lock so this is if somebody has something they want to say in the chat, but they don't want to hammer their, they don't want to dirty their own hands by hitting caps lock, they're going to let the bot do it for them. So if we go in here and say caps lock, I am very angry. And then our bot handles it for us where they let us express our feelings and we don't have to hit our own caps lock button because we're too good for that. So. Uh, that's just another example where you can take in and kind of manipulate your data. We took in a simple message, uh, we recombined it, and then we uppercased it, you could lowercase it, you could do all sorts of stuff with this. It's just kind of give you the idea of how you can, based on user input, manipulate that data. Uh, in another video, I'll probably do an API call, so uh, if somebody does, like a, we'll make a joke bot, so if somebody says, joke, we'll take that argument and we'll make a call to an API and it'll basically, the bot will print out a joke. Uh, I'm also gonna do a moderation bot so you can based on uh, the message object. We went over it earlier, but it has a, it has a roles object. We do member dot roles. So then you could basically set somebody's role as a mod or something and that would give them uh, the right to ban users or kick them out, stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to be doing in a future video. Uh, and again, if anyone has any suggestions, uh, any bots they'd really like to see made, uh, I'll also, I'm open to doing that, so just leave a comment and I can work on that as well. So if this video helped you out, hit like. If you want to see those future videos, hit subscribe. But for now, that's it. Thanks.